Hey, this is Mike. Check out this 2015 Dodge Durango. Now, this is our first one on the lot in 2015. And it's a sandstone color. And I'm going to list all the features and the window sticker and price and everything in the description. Uh, so you can see that if you want to. But um, really cool wheels here. It's all aluminum alloy wheels. And this vehicle is straight off the truck, so it's not completely clean and it has some markings there on the wheels but that's the way they come in uh, from the factory but overall really sharp I, I like the color it's uh, it's one of them colors where I mean this thing is filthy from being on the truck but it's unless you really get close you can't really notice it for a little bit of a different a distance and it looks it looks good so here in the front we've got the uh, projector headlights and fog lights and I also did a, a video at night time so you can see what this vehicle looks like all the lights and everything uh, inside and out so one of the features this has is uh, remote start so I'm gonna go ahead and start it up now it has a 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 and an 8-speed torque flight transmission. This one has the sunroof and all that. You see it has the backup sensors, has the backup camera right here. And uh, this is a limited trim level. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the trunk, the, uh, the the hatch here. Has a, the power lift gate. And here in the back, in the 2015s, you know, it's a third row vehicle. One seat is folded down, but I just kind of show you what it looks like back here. Leather seats, tan. You have cup holders and stuff for the, the rear passengers and in here we have a pretty neat storage system or a storage space I should say and there's a little storage pocket this is a little flashlight rechargeable LED flashlight now some of the vehicles um, uh, the compass and the Patriot they're doing away with that little flashlight but uh, this vehicle still has it in the 15s I like the way they have this little metal ramp here for loading luggage and stuff. But in order to close it, I don't have to use the key to close it. I can just push this button here. And it'll beep at me a couple times. And just lower right on down. Just see that soft glow light at nighttime. It looks really cool. Alright, let me unlock the doors here by putting my hand here on the handle and then I'll be able to access the back door. So here's the back door. Bottle holder, pocket, wood grain, wood grain trim here. Everything's soft to the touch. There's not, right here is a little bit hard plastic, but up here it's kind of like a soft feeling. And here it's soft. Here's the back seat. Nice firm leather seats. And back here we also have heated leather seats and there's some USB chargers there as well as a 115 volt power adapter so you can plug in like a laptop or something if you don't have a USB you could just plug it in there cup holders armrest right there now the seat folds down using this lever lift it up folds down then you have this red strap and you can kind of pick it up. Now it is a little bit, it has a little piston assisted. You don't have to actually lift the weight of the entire seat when you do that, but um, it'll kind of help you lift it up. But that's how you access the third row, like so. Now the seat's up, and you can just go right on into the third row seats. But just push it down. And then you lift that up, and then it's back to uh, the regular seating position. 
it's a little bit windy that windy today and I've got this little wind filter I don't know if you can see in the reflection this little wind filter here for my camera because somebody suggested it and I'm hoping that it's gonna work out good I do have heated side mirrors and here's the inside of the driver's door now you got your presets for your seat there your bottle holder pocket and your door lock controls window controls and side mirror controls are here got a little tweeter speaker there got the Dodge badge and the threshold here yeah power seats now one thing I'm going to go on the other side because I want to show you something on the passenger side before I move on and that is it has a power seat but also you can fold the seat down flat like so so in case you need some you could use it as a table or if you can need to fold down all those seats there and you and put something long in here it's like nine or ten feet from the very back to the all the way to the front to the dashboard so pretty neat Alright, so here's the inside of the vehicle, and I'm kind of facing the sun, so hopefully I'll try to avoid the glare. Okay, so here's the steering wheel, and um, I'm going to turn the volume down on the radio. On the steering wheel, we have a leather wrapped steering wheel, and it is... It has some good thickness to it and comfortable feeling. It's uh, kind of a little bit soft to the touch. You've got your Dodge badge there. Cruise control settings are here. I'm good. Now I use remote start and you still have to push this button in order to turn everything on. So that way we can go through everything. But your cruise control settings are here on on the back side you see this little thing sticking up that's a paddle shifter so you can actually change to the gears this one is a plus and this one on this side is a negative so as you're driving you can change to the gears kind of like a manual transmission if you want to now on the back of the steering wheel back here there's a volume control so i can turn the volume up and on this side i could change to the stations now right now, all I have is uh, one song on a USB drive, so I can't really change to the stations right now. I can just start the song over again. But on the back of this steering wheel, on this side, on the left side, you can change to the stations or the tracks. Right side is your volume. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that back down. And on this side, we've got your Bluetooth controls here. Um, this is the where you answer the phone this is where you hang up the phone and this is your voice recognition now uh, you do have to pair the phone but the cool thing about the pairing your Bluetooth phone is not only can you answer the phone and everything but you can also play music off of it and stuff like that up here we've got a bunch of arrows with OK in the middle that corresponds with the menu here between the gauges so let me go ahead and go in here so right now it's in the speedometer mode and I'm gonna push to the left and it's gonna change the way the speedometer looks see right there it has like an analog and there's a digital now I'm gonna scroll down and now we're into uh, we can change the two kilometers per hour here's your vehicle info screen right now it's showing the tire pressure but I can scroll to the right and get more information, temperatures and pressures and stuff. And then it scrolls back to the tire pressure. So let's scroll down again. This is where your fuel economy is. This will give you a, right now I'm stopped so I'm not getting any fuel economy, but it will show you the current and an average and all that good stuff. 
there's a trip A and to the right is trip B so down music stored messages will be there screen setup you can actually go in there and um, and set up the way you want the screen different things on the corner to say stuff like that and then we're back to the speedometer so there's a pretty good amount of information in that screen and that's just one of the screens so over here this is the other screen this is the 8.4 Uconnect uh, system 8.4 AN and it is an 8.4 inch screen I'm trying to avoid the sun glare but uh All right. I'm oh, sorry for all the pausing. There's somebody keeps walking around the vehicle while I'm trying to do the video. But anyways, um, here at the bottom you see these icons. Right now it says radio right here. This is the radio screen, and um, this is where you you have AM, FM, satellite radio, and also your audio controls here. You can adjust the audio. Just show you what that looks like. And with a new vehicle like this, you get a one year of satellite radio for free, which is pretty nice. Here at Media. Now, right now, I have a USB to show you. I have a USB drive plugged in there. It has my song on there, and that's what was playing earlier. It's not my song, but it's the song I put on there. And, um, you, know, I ch you know, it automatically chose USB when I put it in and started playing. You can also plug in auxiliary uh, plug from, like, say, a portable device. USB, like I mentioned earlier, you could play uh, songs off of a USB, I'm sorry, a Bluetooth device, and an SD card input. Basically, your SD card input is down here. You put an SD card in there with a whole bunch of songs, use it like a, like a, like a hard drive, and you could play lots of songs off of it. Controls, that's the next icon. This is where you'll find your heated seats and heated steering wheel, and the headrest fold button which I'll show you what that does one of the seats is down in the third row but I'm gonna go ahead and push it and it folds down the back seats the, the headrest in the back seat so that's um, intended to get them out of your way so you can have a better view of the rear of the vehicle um, not you know like hitting somebody in the head if they're in the back seat so going back over this way we're going to climb it and all these buttons here or um, you have redundant buttons down here so you can adjust the climate down here as well but you've got your you know fan speed temperature on both sides you can sync your temperatures if you want or you can have separate dual zone system and uh, where you want the air to blow and all that cool stuff navigation this is where you have basically a, a Garmin system and uh, you can you can basically view the map like it, like what you see here. It has a car there, but you can change it to a, a Durango if you want. But you can also put in a specific address, and uh, or you know you can save your home address, stuff like that. Phone. This is where once you well, this is where you pair your phone, as well as uh, you'll see the phone settings, like say the uh, recent calls, your phone book favorites at the top you can also have a keypad to dial out specific numbers that are not saved in your phone and also if you want to hit the transfer button while you're in a call you can transfer it back to your cell phone so you don't actually have to let everybody else hear your conversation in a vehicle all right so there's your volume button tune through the stations or tracks here and um, so those are you know extra buttons there Fan speed, which is an extra button you can control on the screen or not. Temperature, all that good stuff. This one does have the parking sensors like I showed you in the back. Those little surround circles. You can turn those off in case you need to. Eco mode. From what I understand, it's on, all the, on by default when you turn on the vehicle. Now the 2015s may be different. It might save your setting. I'm not really sure. That's something I have to check into. But it does, the eco mode is basically saving you some gas mileage. It, it emphasizes eco, uh, fuel economy instead of performance, basically, when you push that button. Traction control, you can turn that off if you want to. 
down here you've got a pocket and a power supply there's your inputs like I was showing you before now here's your shifter and I'll just give you a bigger view of the area here there's the shifter and it's a rotary shifter with the 8-speed transmission I'm gonna go ahead and put it in reverse and uh, to show you that your backup camera shows up here as well as your parking sensor show up here and it'll start beeping at you if you get close to something but there's the there's that and you know of course you can put it over and drive and all that stuff but it's just as simple as just turning the dial and somebody asked me um, basically will it go in reverse if you accidentally turn it while you're driving down the road and the answer is no it will not go in reverse and there's your cup holders little pocket there armrest now the armrest has two sections one is a little section here which is felt lined then you have a bigger section which is here and you have a power supply in there as well glove compartment is felt lined you have an auto dim rear view mirror place to put your sunglasses here you have tap lights here and here garage door controls are here and this is for your this has a sunroof and it has a shade it's manual you just slide it back if you want it out of your way and then of course you can open it up you can vent it and slide it back now it's kind of raining earlier so I don't want to open it now it might I don't know if any water is going to drip in now here's the sun visor which I have it down because the sun's right in my face and you have a mirror with lights same thing on that side so let's take a look underneath the hood Three point six liter Pentastar V six. You notice everything's color coded. You have a yellow color for all the things that you can change. You can kind of check on your own. Got lots of room in there. But anyway, if you have any questions or anything to add, leave it in the comments, and I'll see you next time.